Uno, dos, tres. Voy a dejar con mamá. Ideally, complete immersion. So we try to only speak Spanish to the kids. So um, that's how they're learning. Yes. Kind of. Yo tengo algo. Tengo you algo. Yo tengo algo. Algo a Maria. A Maria. I think the third day was really the turning point where yeah. the kids stopped being frustrated about not understanding us and we started to get better at Doing getting them to understand us. And the songs helped a lot, like the colors. Um, I knew all the colors. So, like, look at the pictures. Um, pictures are key. We try not to direct translate things, so we had a lot of pictures and a lot of movements to help out. I wanted Ivy to learn Spanish for a while. In fact, over the last couple of years, we've been trying, we've been traveling. Last year, we went to Guatemala. I mean, I've actually looked for Spanish classes for her in the past and have a hard time finding something. It was great, absolutely. And I know the school district helps pay for a, a lot of things and to be able to, it's not that cheap, but you know, the fact that you can um, have an option to try it out. Right now, they're at their most like optimal time to learn the language, so it's really important to have us like start to do it now so that they can have more time to practice, and right now, they're more receptive to it. <laughs> Azul! Gracias! And it's an awesome way to open up their minds culturally at a really yeah. young age, because um, a lot of times that cultural emergence doesn't happen in Little Old Flair, Wisconsin. And this is a great way to start opening that door and open their minds towards that kind of thing.